I don't know why I keep getting these customer service jobs that involve me having to deal with people when I know good and damn well that I don't even really like people like that. Like, I really don't. Good morning, family. Happy Sunday. Um, don't mind my hair. It was wash day yesterday. And I also had to work yesterday, so I couldn't really style my hair how I wanted to. So it's just in a puff today. And now that it has completely dried, it is so thick, y'all. Like, trying to style it in anything is going to be a whole day event. But I don't even care about that. Like, let, let, hold on, let me just show y'all. What I do care about are these right here. Y'all, my flowers, my orchids have bloomed and it was looking real rough for a while like when we went to the temporary house when we had that issue with the water and the pipes leaking and whatnot this plant stayed here and so the flowers had died off and it was looking real rough like real real rough the leaves were all brown but I just believed you had to feed it. I know mommy had to feed it and I had to believe that I could turn it around. And so even though it looked like it was dead, I still watered it, still put it out to get sunlight. And look what happened. Look at that. New bud showed no, up and- No, no, you have to put it outside. No, this flower can't go outside. It needs indirect sunlight. That's what the instructions say. I was reading the instructions. Thomas bought me another one, but I don't know. She's looking in real bad shape. Like, I watered her as recommended. It came with this little cup. So, I'm supposed to get one of these once a week. I've been following the directions. But she looking a little rough. So, we just, we're not going to pay, oops. We're not going to pay attention to her or touch her. But look at this, though. I usually don't have a green thumb, but I did this. Like, I, I did that. Well, technically, nature did it. But I kind of helped a little bit. Just a little bit. Your girl got a green thumb after all, y'all. Um, Again, I don't know what's happening with that other plant. She just she gets watered still, but she's just looking real sad and droopy. Um, But I do have to go to work today, so I'm just going to, you know, touch up the edges a little bit on my hair. Um, Hop in the shower, get dressed, and then it's off to work. Thankfully, we closed early today, so. Because they're, like, doing some remodel stuff or whatever. I didn't even care to ask once they said close early. That was all I needed to know. So let me go get ready. Okay, so I'm at work. And I told y'all that they were like doing their little remodel or whatever. Oh, but apparently it's like the whole system. Like it's not like they're just getting new registers. It's new registers that also come with a new system that have to be relearned. So I just spent like the last half an hour almost an hour doing training for this new system and I still feel like we need way more than an hour of training to get this because they're still going like the store isn't we're closing early but that's just so they can put the new registers in however the store the next day is going to be open at full capacity so they just expect us to like hit the ground running kind of thing like on the job training kind of thing and it's just it's gonna be a whole lot a whole lot of like they gave us a small bible worth of paperwork of stuff to read so that we can acquaint ourselves with the system but uh reading papers is one thing but you need to actually be able to like physically touch and see where all these buttons are but whatever if i mess up somebody's order it's not my fault all right, I only had one hour of training, okay? Just that's it. That's all I had. Then I was talking to a, a co-worker about, does I mean it's only, what, two? Me and the other woman were the only black female cashiers. So I was talking to her about, like, where she gets her hair done. Because normally I see her, she has, like, crochet braids or whatever. But as y'all can see, I have my hair in a puff because, again, it was wash day. And I 
realized that I really need to get my ends clipped. I keep getting like all these little hair balls at the end where like all my dead ends have just like accumulated into little, what are those dust things that just flow around? Like y'all know the things, tumbleweeds, there we go. Like in the Western movies, those things that just blow across the street. That's what keeps coming out of my head every time like I touch it or go to comb it or something like just little balls of hair. So I need to get my ends trimmed and like done properly. So I asked her like what are some good salons nearby and she gave me one called um just not just hair and she recommended um a woman named Yukon so I'm definitely going to look them up give them a call because your girl's hair do needs to get did like ASAP. And I'm home. Y'all ever had a day that just started off fine and then ended horribly? Like, oh, that's how my day went. It was like everything that could go wrong went wrong. And I just, I, uh, it, it just, it was a lot. Like, customers was getting on my nerves. The machines was getting on my nerves. Everything was getting on my nerves. And here's a tip for people. If you decide to go to self-checkout, do not expect to get an overabundance of help from the attendant who is there because you decided that you were going to do everything yourself. That's why it's called self-checkout. Like, read the sign self check out like had this one lady come with her husband she's like flagging me down I'm like okay what's the problem do you need help your lights not flashing so what's the issue she expected me to wipe down the register her for her before she could touch it and say what now I politely pointed out the um Lysol spray and the paper towel that is at every register. You do it yourself. I, I, I don't understand where the confusion happened that you thought that it was my job to wipe it down for you. Oh, mercy. Like wanted me to open up her bags for her so that she can have them all ready for when she starts scanning her items. Again, I can't say this enough. You do everything yourself at self checkout they need to put self in bigger words but I don't even know if that would matter anymore because people don't read they really don't read like it's a dying art unfortunately they just don't read got people trying to go in the 40 items or less aisle with way more than 40 items like it's right there it's a big 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 sign that tells you how many items you are allowed to have. And here you come with two months worth of food in your cart. Um, no. Like, if you want to bag it yourself or you don't feel like tipping the bagger, I'm going to just need you to go to the regular registers and tell them that you want to bag it yourself and they will happily oblige. But you're not coming here with all that, taking up a whole register for God knows how long. Absolutely not. It... Again, my day started out great, ended horribly. So I had to come home, made myself some tea. I had dinner while I was at work on my little breaks. Um, I had took some sausage and cabbage that I had made the other night for dinner. So that's just what I ate. And now I'm just going to cap off my night with some peach tea and take myself to bed. I gotta do it all again tomorrow. Yay, so excited. I don't know why I keep getting these customer service jobs that involve me having to deal with people when I know good and damn well that I don't even really like people like that. Like, I really don't. All right, boys. Who's super smart? Who's a leader? Never a follower? Who can be anything he wants to be? Do anything he tries to do? Who's going to change the world? Yes, you are. I hope you guys have a great day.
Are you gonna have a great day, Theo? Yeah. Okay. And Daddy will be the one picking you guys up. Because Mommy will be at work. Today's my long day. So I go into work a little earlier and I don't get off until we close. Uh, tomorrow. You want to open the door? Yeah. All right, love you guys. Have a great day. Huh? You didn't make food I did. Yeah. You missed it. Have a great day, guys. <sighs> All right. So they are dropped. They always want to know my days off so they can hijack it. Oh, Lord. But finally, I get my mornings to myself. I get my mornings to myself again all by myself. Y'all don't understand. These last couple weeks have been a nuisance. And this sun is doing a lot. Like with Thomas having BLC, which is like some leadership class, because he's about to get promoted. So he's been home when normally he's at work. And then the boys, this is the thing that I don't like about this school. They give the kids so many vacations and breaks off of school that they've spent more time at home than they've spent in school. Like for President's Day, like I'll say it again, President's Day, they gave them a week off from school. Why are we getting a week vacation to celebrate one day? So today was the first day that they could go back after their little week long break. And I just am so grateful because I just want my mornings to myself again where I can just have my breakfast by myself, have my coffee by myself, be one with my thoughts and the Lord by myself without somebody always up in my business, kids keep asking for food, husband being all loud, like things have finally gone back to normal and I appreciate it. Whew. Goodness gracious. So I need to go home, cook myself some lunch to take to work today, and get that all set up and together, and then do something, try to do something to my hair. Something. It's not gonna be something amazing, it's just gonna be something. And I'm back home. Made my shake. This is raspberries, pineapple, and Blueberries, I believe, are all in here, as well as chia seeds and my, uh, not coconut oil, the other, MCT oil, yes, are in here. Oh, and then I do do like a splash of uh, agave nectar just to sweeten it up a little bit. So, breakfast. I may also add like a bowl of cereal like my fruit and yogurt cereal, call it a day. I put um, some beef cubes and potatoes in the crock pot for beef stew so that by the time I get home from work at 8.30 tonight, <laughs> that should be close to done as well as by the time Thomas feeds the boys dinner at like 6, it should also be done. So, bam, dinner. Um... I'm trying to think of what else I need to do. I need to make myself lunch for work. I forgot that that was on the agenda. It's probably just going to be a salad. So that's not too hard to do. And then I believe I have clothes downstairs in the basement that I need to wash. Like this is what my mornings now consist of. Trying to get all things done because I really feel like I have no time left in the day. And tomorrow's my day off, but like. I want to relax on my day off and not have 
to do work after work after work after work after work after work. So, oh, you need to go down in the basement, do laundry. So while the laundry is in, that's when I can come back up, make my lunch for work, put that in the refrigerator. Then I need to call T-Mobile about TomTom's tablet because it stopped working. So I need to call the insurance to get a new one. So much to do, guys. So much to do. And I feel like I never have enough time. Okay. I just had to run home for lunch because the beef stew that I made this morning, that's really what I had a taste for. And I knew it wasn't going to be done in time at all. So, um, just came home for lunch and I made some cauliflower rice to go with it. It was good. All right. Lunch done. I love crock pots. Like, it's been what? I put that in after I dropped the boys off from school. So that was like 7.30. And it is now 4.57. How many hours is that? We can do quick math. Oh, let me put my seatbelt on. And if you guys can't tell, I am in such a rush to get back to work. It's not like my job is far or anything. Like it really is just right around the corner. But still, I don't want to walk in mad late after my break is supposed to be over. So I left my purse inside of uh, the house and all I have is my little wristlet that I carry with me that just has like my ID in it my credit card in case I want to buy something while I'm at work lotion because my hands be mad ashy and my license so I just brought out my wristlet so I can just walk back into work and go straight back to it Oh, but I was saying, like, the meat was mad tender. And I was so grateful for it. Like, it wasn't tough or anything. Like, it was nice and tender. And I grabbed, um, before I left for work, left work, yeah, left for my lunch break. There we go. I grabbed, like, a packet of, um, slow cooker seasoning stuff for a beef stew. Threw that in there made all the difference. It was delicious. <sighs> Krispy Kreme, this is not. Ugh. Just falling apart. I think Thomas got these donuts, these glazed donuts from like the supermarket or something. Like Safeway, or he might have even got it from the commissary. But like, these are so thick and it's hard. How is it hard? This is not good. Guys, trying to tell me I don't need to be eating this because this is not good at all. Yay, my parking spot is still available. Ugh.
Yeah, we gonna park there today. What? All right, I'll park here. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat this. Like it's so hard and so thick for no reason. All right, but I'm back at work. Let me go run inside. Bye. All right, y'all. Last break of the day. Um, only got an hour left before it's time to close, and I'm so excited. Hope it goes by super fast. But I'm going to sign off now because I know by the time the day is over and I get home, I'm going to forget. And then this vlog is going to be super long because then I'm going to have to wait until tomorrow to do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. My iced tea all in the way. Please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.